sorry, this is Hi Virgo, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot, and this is your romance reading for June 2020. And I hope you will enjoy. I hope you've seen the weeklies, then you know that there is a possibility of joining in to in a competition and win the uh, sh uh, the Shadow Land Tarot by Monica Bodursky. You also, if you join in, uh, you'll have to be a member and you will also get a book with it, a thick book. So if you're a beginner, then this is an awesome way to learn because you'll get guided step by step. And it's really lovely because this deck will draw you in and the book as well. If you're not a reader, then this book will make you a reader. Or you can win the um, Visa Versa deck. I have used it before and you'll get the sort of same book with it as well. So um, I will be making a video as to what you need to do to join in the competition and how the competition is going to be uh, run. Okay. So um, I hope you have a look if you uh, like to see the figures and the cards see the review on the uh, Shadowlands Tarot. I've made a couple of new reviews so go for it. Um, please thank you very much for sharing and liking my Cyber Angels and welcome to the new people. Please click on subscription and the bell on all and then you'll be a member and then you can join in to the competition so if you would like to um, get a, a chance to win either decks if it is not for yourself for somebody else then go ahead let us know um, so I'll have a busy summer anyway besides making videos I think it's going to be a, a, a quite well I'm not going to re unveil everything okay I like to keep you excited and please join us in the live sessions and as I give free cards as well and I answer questions um, that are supported by donations such as a super chat or a super sticker if you would like an extended reading then please look for the information below this video in the description box or in the right hand corner on that white dot and if you click in any video it will take you to the website and you can keep updated that way because I will be putting updates regularly with regarding the channel and the competition in the coming week okay so uh, Virgo and I mean Virgo I've done I said I've, I have to do the video again because I said Leo uh, my excuses for that um, you have the seeker and the seeker is the fool yes I love this card look at the cat but yes the cat really everybody gets into in interacted in the cards as well there and this author has got such a beautiful sense of humor and vision it's not 2d it's 4 5d okay well the seeker is somebody that's seeking okay trying to perhaps keep his ear close to the ground or he's lost his head people are thinking yeah well you can't just pick up and go and wander because the fool usually has a dog at his heels and has a little rucksack on a pole in the traditional tarot um, but you are seeking something new a new love in this case because you that could be uh, or a new way to refresh the romance or relationship that you have and the cat is pointing that way forwards forwards jump off the cliff go jump into the deep be spontaneous well like I said you might be <laughs> doubting or because everybody's got their point of view don't take any notice just listen to the productive and useful suggestions but you're in a transformational period or you could have lost your head about a Scorpio Woo! because the death card represents Scorpio okay and also leaving the old behind and looking forwards to the new and uh, there was a scorpio there you are 
There's the Scorpio. Sorry, that's my glass of water. I speak too much. My mouth dries. So there you are. Now you've got the Scorpio. Uh, uh, that's this this author. There's a different author than the Shadowlands. Also works to detail. Wow. In the second week, you have the Emperor. Now, if you follow me, then you know that I always say the Emperor is Ares. The Emperor um, um, represents Ares. Um, but, on the other hand, the meaning of the card, you might seek advice. This could be of an Aries, but it could also be um, a professional, like a lawyer or a doctor, or a marriage guidance counsellor, or other legalities. If you're buying a house with your partner, perhaps that is the new phase that you want to do, the next step. Okay. Or perhaps marriage. Or you could be seeking advice from their father or your father. You might be asking uh, the bride's or your partner's father for their hand in marriage. This could be in a heterosexual marriage or a same-sex marriage. And perhaps that is... I'll tell you, I'll come back to that because it's like... Well, I might, might as well do it now. Uh, we've got a king of swords here. So you've got the emperor, and that is Ares. Then you've got a Scorpio, that's death. And then you've got the king of swords, and that is Gemini. Prominently Gemini. But don't exclude the other air signs, Libra and Aquarius. Now, perhaps you might do it the old-fashioned way, just to settle your partner's nerves and... Um, to give them the feeling uh, that you stand behind them, next to them, and you will defend them through thick and thin. And it is, well, you see, I just said Leo, but th this goes, and I had to redo this video, and it's for you, Virgo. So, this is the message. I had to redo it, not because it was the wrong sign, but because this really counts for everybody, in every sign. If you are a, a person that loves a person from the same sex, then you're always uh, looking at romance readings only related to uh, heterosexuals, but homosexuals, um, uh, you know, it is difficult if you are one, but it, so long you stay honest, true, loyal, and communicate, and use your wisdom like the Geminis or the air signs do then the truth will always prevail and will always come out now that's why I in, instead of after the reading I will take this because it's lying in this uh, line clarity it, it, religious factors no it's not only religious factors your love life is being infect, um, in influenced by your religious upbringing or spiritual path but it could also be your background okay your upbringing not your religious upbringing but your upbringing in general you should be straight no I'm gay okay so perhaps the parents do know about it and you want a gay wedding you might ask the hand in marriage of the father that is the um, advice that you seek, or rather, the approval. May I marry your daughter, or may I marry your son, if you're a man? I think the parents will acknowledge it easier that they're asked and thought about um, by asking their child for the hand in marriage. And perhaps they might learn that love loyalty and trust is worth more and, for, and their happiness more than a heterosexual marriage a marriage of tradition a marriage means unity being honest to each other care for each other share with each other and it is twice as hard if you're not the norm I know that 
<laughs> because I am I've got these talents and I help them to other people I've been the village fool I've been treated like that at school so I know this issue being mar uh, wanting to marry somebody of the same sex being different than the norm or the traditional uh, rules be your individual self lose your head fall in love and go forward if you really love them and they really love you take it make it legal this could be a divorce this could mean marriage this could mean legalities okay if it's not legal in your country or your province go to the next okay and take the parents with you if they want to be at the marriage because you've got also the marriage card and this is a stable union a long-lasting union as you have the four of swords it could be your wedding I hope it is but you could be invited to a wedding when you're at this wedding or celebrations then uh, you will also meet new people and those could be very good friendships or networking but I'm going to say friendships because it is at a wedding in this case in a romance reading they'll be stable friends they will support you new beginnings in wisdom in understanding communications like I said you might be networking so new business perhaps perhaps uh, new clients if you if one of you are is a lawyer or uh, works for the government or judicial situations perhaps you might start a study to become a lawyer you've got victory that's the first foremost first and foremost you have victory with the ace of swords the air the truth has come out and the air is cleared it's electrifying and then I get to think of Saturday night fever so celebrations perhaps that might be a song at your wedding Saturday night fever okay uh, um, that is a Gemini Libra Aquarius so they're all on the table now not just Gemini and be careful how you say things especially to parents okay asking the hand in marriage because you've got the five of swords and that's at the end of the month <laughs> Le uh, Virgo you can have the charm even if your partner is a Gemini or another air sign they have the gift of the gab let them know how to talk well they talked you around didn't they they can be charming loving they can sell ice cubes to Eskimos especially Gemini and they will do it with a pure heart well if you love a Gemini or an air sign you know let alone a Scorpio or an Aries there might be talk about children <coughs> perhaps that's why you're getting married as you have the Empress the ground is fertile for pregnancy but also for other projects such as getting married buying a house together that's also the card one of the cards for buying a house okay and you need legalities and advice on that so that you protect your partner if something would happen to it, them or to you then you're both protected okay something will grow and flourish the Empress is a Libra so wow here you've got Gemini here you've got Libra amazing well the air signs do appear there's just one water sign and there is fire signs okay you've got um, Aries here and you've got Leo there but with the Empress you might make an investment for long term if you are not deciding to have a child yet but perhaps somebody got pregnant and that's why you're marrying quicker than later 
the, 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 the divine thought it was time for you to get joined up and, and disregard your faith, your upbringing, your background, the way you are, the way you love, okay? So long as pure love, the divine thinks you should be joined together. You are making plans in all in general. This is the card. You are making plans for the future. And there's no stopping you now. You don't have to look in the crystal ball anymore. It's time. It's time to take action and get that advice. You don't have to have sleepless nights anymore. Look at that, the Nine of Swords. And you are in your strength. You could even be about a Leo. You might be going out with a Leo and you're standing in your strength. And things are happening all at once. Look at all the, bu the butterflies. The transformation is complete. Okay, the last card that you have, Virgo, is the orange angel feather. You can wear orange, you can eat orange, you can meditate on orange. Choose to feel good. Yes, it's your choice. Don't listen to anybody else. If you want to get married, disregard the upbringing and um, the faith. Love honesty and communication etc as respect is the foremost what and to be there for each other share and give and take choose to feel good the angels ask that you let go of old emotions and any emotional pain from the past when these are released you will warm your heart like i said some of you might take that leap and or are already taking that leap you're leaving the past behind you're looking forward to new beginnings you're going through the, the stages of divorce and you can see the future marriage victory is yours a new start boom 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 so go for it the orange angel feather is presented to you as a symbol of joy orange is a combination of red and yellow when inhibitions and repressions are neutralized you're not suppressed anymore you're going for it wow <coughs> and neutralized you will experience a state of emotional balance your energy endurance levels and drive will ele elevate this will assist you to broaden your mind assimilate new ideas that will also succeed that's what I'm saying because the so uh, ace of swords is victory okay and to become motivated about new endeavors the angels would love to feel passion in every aspect of your life and are here to remind you that it is simply a choice to feel good. The angels are Archangel Gabriel, the angel of creativity and dissolving fear. Fear. Boom, boom, boom. Dissolving fear enhances fertility, creativity, and originality. So be your original self and ask for the hand in marriage. You can use carnelian, aragonite, coral, copper, sunstone, orange calcite and topaz. Well Virgo, I hope you have enjoyed this powerful reading. I think it's powerful. Go for what you and your beautiful partner want and need. Make this, don't. Okay, that's the cat. That's a Siamese cat. She only comes usually with Sagittarius. Okay, I hope to see you in the life. And remember, if I don't see you in the life, I'll see you in the next video. Please share a like and give us the thumbs up. Love you loads. Take care. Good luck.